What is up guys, Jeremy with Everything I Device, and welcome to a new kind of series of video. Of course, you know how I like to mix things up on my channel. Um, this is going to be on the Mac, of course, as you can probably tell. And for those of you that have been asking me on my Instagram to do some Mac tutorials or, uh, you know, applications I like to use on my Mac, yes, I'm finally going to do it. Um, so in this first video, what I want to cover is just one application, and it's called the Hack Store. Now, I'll leave the link down in the description if you guys want to download and install this app on your Mac. Um, but it's basically everything that's not in the App Store, and it's just like the App Store. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Um, now, the Hack Store, it, it is a little laggy and slow when it comes to loading. Um, this is nothing new. It's been around for a while. Um, but overall, it, it's a great application to find new applications. So we're just going to go into the editor's choice here. Um, as you can see, you have categories, popular, all that stuff on the sidebar there. Um, I think you guys get the idea immediately of what the hack store is. It's almost in a way uh, kind of like the Cydia for a Mac. Um, kind of, kind of not. It doesn't actually like do too many like tweaks or anything like that, I would say. It's more so to find, you know, really useful applications that just are not in the app store. Um, so we can just kind of browse through here. I'll show you some of the apps here. Uh, it, the hack store does have a lot of different applications, so you will have to do quite a bit of searching. This is just going to be a brief overview of what uh, the hack store offers. So here's Mario the game, you got Absinthe 2, which is a jailbreak utility, you got Sparrow, Google Drive, a Game Boy emulator, you got Blender, also uh, the game Slender right there, so this does have games, obviously, with the emulators as well. Uh, you have iBoost Up. There's a lot of really cool, useful stuff in the hack store, like I said. I'll just kind of slowly scroll through so you guys can kind of see these different applications. Now, a lot of these, obviously, you're going to want to click on and read about and check out to find out exactly what you want to use. Um, you got Evasion there, another jailbreak utility or tool. Uh, Origin, that's a great application for uh, playing games. I actually have it installed right here, as you can see, Origin. I actually play SimCity uh, through Origin. That's what I like to use that for. Uh, Clean My Mac 2, Simply Burns. You got uh, Clean My Mac, the original. You got FileZilla. You got Firefox. You got Growl, Google Chrome, Dropbox. You got uh, GIMP here. Now, GIMP is a great photo editing uh, program. I would definitely recommend it. It is universal for Windows or Mac. So if you are on a Windows, you can search for the free download of GIMP. But it's a, it's a very uh, useful photo editing program that's free. It's not quite as advanced as Adobe, but it gets the job done. And I've used it in the past, and I would recommend it. Um, you got iExplorer, IPSW Downloader, that's another application I have installed. I, I actually do have iExplorer as well. Um, let's see, what else is in here? Now Playing NC, Mountain Growl, you got Skype, Season Pass, uh, Ponage Tool, Red Snow, Tiny Umbrella, uh, Micro Torrent or U Torrent, whatever you like to call it. Um, so that's going to be pretty much it, guys. Uh, just a brief overview of some of the really cool apps found in the Hack Store. Uh, at the top, obviously, you have new, featured, categories, about. It's very similar to the App Store. So if you know how to use the App Store, I'm sure you'll be fine using the Hack Store. Again, if you guys want to download the Hack Store application onto your Mac, I'll leave the link down in the description. So definitely check it out. So if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more Mac tutorials, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.